morning guys it is 7 04 in the morning and i'm teeter tottering in between wanting to get up and do a bunch of things for um a couple of videos and then just sleeping because riley will be home in like on my way home in like four hours so really what i'm saying is we have four hours to do anything we want um just us girls so i'm thinking today for this video hopefully i can get like goal three videos filmed today but <laughs> we'll see so um little background sorry i haven't been uploading videos that i said i was going to upload that is because riley's mom's been with us for a while i get really nervous filming around her and she's like re up really early and so, and then she stays up, like, as long as we do. So, it's, like, I never had any time. And our room sucks to film in. So, it's not like I could just stay in here. And I really like filming on the lanai because we get a lot of that natural light, obviously, because it's outside. And so, and that's where she always sits. Quinkety-gilly. So, um, now that she's gone, <laughs> she left last night, um, I will be filming. So, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up. At first, I thought I was going to do, so, um, I used to be, like, really on, like, Alexis Ren's, um, workouts and stuff, and recently been wanting to get back to it, and I thought I would do that, then get in the shower, so I had, like, a little aesthetic montage, but then I thought to myself, why? So, I'm going to go, just go get in the shower, and we'll start this video, which is going to be a hair care routine. Okay, I'll see you guys in way better lighting dressed and ready to do this okay so sorry i had to fix the lighting situation anywho so i always 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 dry my hair with microfiber towels i never use the towels that i used to like take showers with because i find that they make my hair super frizzy i did that all my life i'm kind of figuring out where like the frizz is coming from and just like my hair being really flat too so i just bought a microfiber towel from target and then riley's mom gave me like three or four of her own and i just use those because i it like almost keeps some moisture in my hair too it doesn't get like crunchy weird dry so i highly recommend that if you have problem with like frizz and just your hair looking just unhealthy definitely try microfiber towels to dry them out because it works so i feel like it works a lot better especially for curls so after i normally just like i kind of stay in my towel for the longest time i get distracted and do a bunch of other stuff so i just kept my hair in the towel for about 10, 15 minutes just now and it's still kind of damp because my hair never fully dries ever until maybe like the next morning when I'm going to wet it again <laughs> so I just let it kind of sit and I do my own thing for a while and then after that I automatically condition my hair when it comes to shampoo and conditioner I always do the shame moisture line because when I was just learning how to take care of my hair literally last year is when I actually had like interest and in making my curls look better and just realized that overall it just kind of made me look better <laughs> i was learning about like sulfates and parabens and stuff like that and i never cared about before I even knew it was like bad for my hair and shea moisture literally never has it in any of their um shampoo and conditioners so i just bounce back and forth from different um scents and things like that that i like or different needs that they have that i might want to improve in my hair like moisture or just strength and things like that and right now I just bought a new shampoo and conditioner from them and I got the moisture retention conditioner and because my hair just always always needs more moisture because I just have so much of it and it, everything every piece just needs love and it doesn't always get that with other stuff so I'm using this one right now um, anyway so I just put like a really good amount of this in my hand and I say really good it's gonna look kind of crazy but I use about like that much and I just kind of section off my hair right down the middle and keep like the sides always flip over on one and then the other side of my head. And I just condition both sides. It looks like a lot, I know. Riley always says stuff to me like, do you really need that much? And like things like that. But you know, once my hair's finished he, and he sees that she didn't need that much, yes. Something I had to learn to like, take care of too. Whenever I, when I went to get my hair done, this was, at the beginning of me like really caring about like 
how to take care of my hair she was like and she sectioned off my hair to um lighten it and she's like i can tell like what parts of your head you have been like showing more um attention to and which not because when she did my hair she was telling me that this whole under half was just like so like dry and wasn't as like detangled and it just didn't seem like as healthy as the top layer and that was just because like you know when i was younger and even up until last year like what i said i just was really impatient with my hair and i just wanted to put it up and get it out of the way so i just kind of put stuff in my hair and then put it up and then forget about it so totally knew exactly what she was talking about i could always like convince myself that this is the part like people aren't really gonna see but in the long run when you do eventually when you do like certain hairstyles where you are gonna see it people are gonna be able to tell like which what what kind of like hair care you really have some curls i have like heat damage from like specifically this piece this never gets like fully detangled or ever really works right and that's because when i was younger i also used to like straighten my hair a lot or like ask my grandma to and things like that because i just literally hated my hair until about maybe two years ago but i still wasn't like taking care of it i just you know kind of accepted my curls and like my hair's big and other girls hair isn't and that's okay doesn't make my hair ugly or theirs prettier or anything like that but i just, some of my curls have heat damage because of that especially these front ones spraying my face because when i was younger i'd like drench my hair with water and then straighten it <laughs> and i would like think that the like the crispy crunchy scary meat on a pan sound was nice and was like good but then i had to cut all my hair off <laughs> this is like four years of hair growth right here and because when i'm was about to move here i wanted to get my hair done done originally like how i have it now but um the hairdresser that my grandma took me to on my dad's side she um told me that my hair was like too damaged to do that. So, and like too dry and like everything, like unhealthy all together. So, um, I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna speak for her and say that she didn't exactly know what she was doing, but um, I could definitely, looking back, I could definitely tell she hadn't handled like mixed hair before. And I know this because she cut off literally like all of this, gone. And she was like, oh, it's gonna look so good. You're gonna love it. And if you have curly hair, you know that, like that's all fine and good, like when it's like this, but when she dries, it's gonna be like a, an Afro. And that's literally what I had. The dry, gonna come up to right here. And I could barely put in a ponytail or get in a bun, like how I was surviving my whole life doing with my hair. So that was depressing for me because that was the only thing I really knew how to do with my hair because I didn't really, know how to take care of it first of all and I didn't know like protective styles or anything like that to do or just how to style my hair in general and so that was really devastating for me especially like I think I turned 15 that year too and you can imagine how devastating of a blow that was to a 15 year old self-esteem so after I condition I will then go in with a gel I like um specific I don't never used um tresemme like mousse or anything like that on my hair because my mom's done that with her curls for my, like basically all my life and her hair gets like crunchy when it when that dries and she's never really liked that and i didn't really like how that felt like the curl hold was there and the definition was definitely there but just overall how your hair felt i didn't like that because she was always saying like she always tell me like how much it just felt like like dad basically so i never use that on my hair. I always went, when I started caring about taking care of my hair, I went straight into like gels. When I got my hair colored, um, I went to like a Diva Curl uh, salon for this color. So they had a lot of Diva Curl um, products, obviously. So I bought this big ass can, can bottle of gel and it was like $42. <laughs> But um, it's lasted me a long time. I still have more in it. I got my hair colored in June of last year. And I've used this literally every single day, um, at least of last year. I lived in South Carolina for sure. So it's kept up quite, like really well. Um, so I always use either this one or I use the Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. 
this is like this goes between like 11 and 23 dollars i believe because she has different um needs for the gels like different whatever you want you need for your hair she has a gel for it literally and i really like the jelly soft curls or the pillow soft curls a lot i always find these in target or i found them in like the nex stores on on bases here so either way like if you're in the army you can find them there i'm sure or like in px's but i always find them at target i normally lean more towards that one and i save this one from when i like really trying to do my hair really nice for like special things um not that they don't perform the same but just because it's so expensive and i don't want to run out of it too fast going into like my wash days i was gonna say since the beginning i really don't wash my hair that often i probably do at most two wash days in one week depending on like what i've been doing like if i go to the beach and i definitely like get my hair underwater i'm obviously going to wash my hair that night depending on if it's a wash day or not but normally on a normal week especially during quarantine and like when i was working and stuff i probably have like one wash day like in the middle of every week because my hair um really doesn't need to be washed that often which i didn't know that growing up which i wish i did because my mom at the time, she didn't, I feel like she also has learned a lot about her curls over the time too. And she would wash her hair like it was regular, you know, like straight hair, like her friends and everything almost every day. And her hair was really dry and she couldn't figure out why. And then I did that and my hair was always really dry and frizzy. And it was just, we were stripping our hair like way too much. So I really stopped washing my hair that often and I went until once a week. And I only focus on shampoo on my roots because it, you know, it gets the most buildup with these styling products. And when I um, lay my edges and stuff, there's all that gel buildup. So I really only keep my shampoo on my roots and maybe I'll let it, I'll bring it down like when I'm rinsing my hair or whatever, because I always tend to put more like moisturizing products in the, bottom, in the bottoms of my hair, which I also noticed that that really helped as well. The, like towards the end of my hair, I noticed that that really helped only focusing the shampoo on my roots and keeping like conditioners and um, masks and stuff towards the end. Obviously I'm still learning and getting better at like what works for me and my hair and everything. But even like when I don't have anything in my hair and I wake up in the morning, if I'm like on my shit with my hair routine, even when I don't have any product in my hair and I'm waking up in the morning, I notice that my hair still has like some curl definition. It's still soft and still like feels good and it doesn't feel like every day i'm waking up and i'm just having like reset my hair over again so i really liked that once i started you know started with specifically these products and i felt like it had a over time like turnaround with my hair and just now when i was styling my hair or washing it or things like that always when styling my hair i always part it the way i would wear it when it's down just so if i do end up putting it down during the day um i've kind of like styled it that way anyways if it comes down from a blend or something so I just already have that ready. I don't have to like completely restyle my hair to fit that. I don't know if, I don't know if it makes sense, but that's just how my hair works. I also do that when I style it down. I always lay my edges still because if I ever need to put my hair up, it's like already done and it'll look like my hair is somewhat put together and not just like a complete messy bun with all my edges being like all frizzy. And pull it back in a loose ponytail just so the whole, you know, the hold is there. I can kind of see how I'm gonna work my edges. But I lost, I had two of the like little cute edge brushes, you know, They're like all the hair care, cute curly hair girls have, but <laughs> I lost them when I moved here. So I had to get this bigger one, which is like more so for sleeking your hair back. But I just kind of learned how to keep like the front, like front main bristles down and just sweep my edges. But girl, I don't even, I never, I never, ever, ever knew like what I just even wore, which I think honestly that had a lot to do with like me growing up with an all white family. There was like certain things I knew about, but there were, I guess I just, for some reason I like worked it in my head, like I wasn't black enough <laughs> to like stop ever really style my hair or lay my edges or do anything like that just because I didn't feel like part of my own culture, I guess which sounds really weird, but honestly, I feel like quite a few people feel that way that grow up in a house predominantly not of like their race. I know I say I am white too, but I never, my biological dad was never like around. I didn't have any of like my um, 
I didn't have any of my black family members around to like teach me anything. So I just never thought like I could just hop on the train. Holding my edges, I just used like the Eco Gel Styling Gel. <laughs> just because it's cheap and it works for me. And I always lay um, three soups that way, one soup in the middle because I also had to grow edges when I started um, with my hair care last year because I realized, I quickly realized when I was learning about how to lay edges that I didn't have any to do that with. So I had to literally grow, some, grow my edges back out because like I said, when you grew up always sleeking your hair back, you kind of, kind of kill them. Now I'm gonna just put the rest of my head back and this is gonna look kind of crazy, so sorry. I feel like I use like so much product, like when I watch myself do this or whatever, but it's just what I have to do. I have so much hair to put back, y'all. So I'm sorry if you cringe or whatever, but it's literally what I have to do or my hair is just not, she's not gonna go anywhere. And if I have to pull my edges back out, then I will, but this is just to help me get the rest back. Okay, so I'm gonna lay the rest of my edges and I'll be right back. Okay. So yeah, that is my finished hair care routine. So my hair is gonna finish drying. And sometimes even after I finish drying, I might go over it again with a little more holding gel just to have a little more definition. But this is about as good as it gets. Always this side of my head has way better edges than the other side of my head. I don't know if anyone else can relate to that, but literally all, always, but it's okay, it's okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I know you probably missed Riley in this video. I definitely did. I can't wait for him to come home. But um, I will see you guys really soon. But anyways, our social media down below if you want to follow them. Our TikTok, if you're on TikTok, hi. Comment down below. I love seeing those comments from people who have came from there. But anyways, I love you guys so much. And we'll see you later. Bye.